In this tutorial, I will show you how to use our dialog. Uh, let's create a new FXML application first. Finish. Let me copy package to uh, FXML documents. There are four, actually there are five different uh, alert types, information, warning, error, and confirmation. The last one is none. So none doesn't actually do anything. So let me just focus on information, warning, error, and confirmation in order. Let's open FXML documents. Here, uh, let me remove button and the label I will enlarge uh, to 4600 then the uh, height will change to 400 a lot doesn't really come with the same builder so let me focus on on uh, button. So let's say we have one label, one text field. So based on given input, we can show certain information. So let's say a label change to name. Again, text field, um, label, LBL, name, text field, uh, TF, name, button, I will say uh, information or law. FXID, uh, BTN, information or law. Handle BTN, information or law. Uh, we don't use a uh, label and uh, previous implementation, so I remove it. So class name is alert, new alert, and then uh, parameter we have uh, alert type. There is a constant we can use it. We are using information this time. We need to import We can set title There are two different ways uh, Here it say, says that show dialog how does not wait for a user in response? So this is not very common. Another one here, show and wait. It's waiting for user input. So, so most of the time I use a show and wait. So another method you may like to use it contains uh, text. We can set certain value. 
as the contents of a dialog. For example, I will say welcome. If you type your name, we just say welcome and uh, John, for example. Clean and build. So if you type can, click it. So this is what we have information log, uh, message. Welcome can and look at the icon. So we have a title, contents, and then a message. So there is a, might be um, another useful method called header text. Set a string to show dialog header area. Again, I don't really use it. I use for uh, default. Uh, if you want to change the default value. So this time I will uh, use show and wait. So type it. So information log, we have uh, our own message. So you can use uh, our own message called uh, set header text. And that's how we use um, information log. Okay, let's go back. Let me use the uh, next one. It's uh, pretty similar, let's say BTN warning a lot, and then handle BTN warning a lot. So in this case, let me uh, copy paste it. We try to show uh, information. Okay, let me remove that. Let me uh, clear out some more. Okay, set header text. I will use default. So remove it. We try to get the name. Once you type your name, we can access it with the TF name object using get methods. If name is not empty, then uh, we process it as it is using uh, information log. Else, we can introduce um, warning saying that uh, you have to enter your name. Syntax is pretty much the same, so copy paste it here. I will change to warning. You can press Control Spacebar. Let me change the title. Context text I will change. Please enter your name.
equally rebuild. Let's have a look. So if you don't type it, this is what you get warning. Please enter your name. So let's try this time again. Um, even though you click warning a lot, it doesn't show you warning. It just shows you information you type it. So that's the difference between information a lot and then uh, warning a lot. Next one, uh, I'm going to use um, again another label. With another text field and uh, additional button. So let's say BTN, uh, sorry, uh, LBL number, TF uh, number. For simplicity, I will just type it as uh, error alert. Here, uh, BTN error alert. Handle error, BTN error alert. Save it. Make controller. So let's try to get the number. It was a text field number, TF number. Okay, text. So let's say if the employee number is less than uh, six, for example. Employee number start with E and uh, 0001. So Ideally, we should type six digits. So, although you lot type is now, we are going to use um, error. We can set title. Next one, we can use a lot set context text. Your number is only, we assume that if you type less than six characters long, say uh, number and length. So if you type number four digits, we say your number is only four characters long. Then we say that uh, it should be at least six characters long. Let me uh, keep it next line. One more to do. Hello, show and wait.
So number here is 0, 0, 0, 001. So here you go. Uh, it says that I type only five characters long. So let me put one more zero. This time it won't show anything because that's the correct. Okay, six digits. So that's how you use uh, header allow. So if you look at here, let me just add one space. People number six, that's all. Uh, we have one more to cover. Uh, we call it as a, a confirmation. So for confirmation, um, I'm going to use one button. And then one label with the uh, text field. I may need to use a uh, text area. For the demonstration, uh, try to make it more practical. So let's say we have a pizza, T a pizza. This one we call it as a uh, order, but let me try to use the same style, confirmation order. In practice, you may call it as a order. PTN uh, confirmation order. Handle PTN confirmation order. So this one I will say TA order. So all the information uh, will appear on text area. Save it. Make controller. So this one will be a bit longer than others. So string. TF pizza TF pizza get text so if we have a pizza type if the pizza is not empty we will show a confirmation allow so we can say that, uh, do you want to process this order? Then of course our answer should be uh, OK or cancel. So set, set title, confirmation alert. You can change to um, order confirmation. Set context text. Show and wait. So what's important is here, um, you should be able to capture whether you click OK or cancel button. Yeah, let me uh, show you to you. So if you say uh, how I am, click, uh, OK, and then this time I will say cancel. 
it doesn't show anything okay because we are not taking uh, any value so you should be able to get the value so we will say optional then uh, button type optional is a class okay so say return result import again one more to import here we can have a very simple if else statement here result.get it says that it's going to return the value equal to button type if we return a constant value ok then we know that we have a pizza order so TA order append text TA pizza get text let's say a new line at the end so that I can order more than one pizza and then else otherwise we cancel order so maybe we can set the null value for text field clean and build this time let's see whether we can process uh, ok or cancel button so here Hawaiian here say ok so we can process this time here we say uh, busy ok we order busy so here if you don't uh, order anything again okay, nothing happens isn't it so here busy okay we order one more time nothing happens so let's deal with that okay so here else hello we are going to use a warning set title warning allow and then uh, contents text please order your pizza then we will say allow uh, show and wait so now we have we can see the warnings okay so let's say basic no warnings okay so okay we order So it seems like um, uh, that's pretty much all. So if you look at all the type, we have information and then warning, error, and the uh, confirmation. That's all. Thank you.